guys, so today I'm here for a fun video, and that is to kick off my winter magical readathon vlog. So I am starting a little bit late because the readathon technically started on the 1st of December, and it is the 15th today, but I had to complete the Tista season of fun first. And with this readathon, you can literally go at your own pace, and even if it takes you until April, that's okay. Because the chapters for the readathon come out once a week, but you don't really have to follow them that much. Like you can do it whatever pace you want. This readathon is very interesting because it's all like interactive online and there's all this different stuff and you don't know what books you're going to read until you get to the prompts when you go through the thingy on the computer. I'm like not explaining this very well. I've got a lot of bookkeeping to do here to explain this readathon. So it's basically I choose your own adventure story and we've got five chapters that we need to complete that follow along the second story. So the objective of the readathon is to find and save Ginny. So there's all these little scenarios that you read and you, you need to answer them as if you're in your house. So I am a Hufflepuff so I need to answer it as myself as a Hufflepuff. So as you go through though, whatever you pick influences your path in later chapters or the current chapters. And in each chapter, there can be one, two, three books that you need to read. So you could read as much as five or as much as like 15 or 12 books. And there's all the different ways you can do it. You can keep doing the chapter again till you get a path that you really want. Or you could do it like once and then check it out and still do the original path. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it. But every time I get to a reading prompt, I'm going to stop on here read the book then come back and keep going because I feel like that's the funnest way to make it really like oh this is very exciting and I don't know what I'm going to do and there is five chapters in total as I told you so I'm going to have five vlogs and I will tell you the date that I start and the date that I end so you know how long it takes me to get it but I'm basically going to have it as a winter magical readathon chapter one vlog winter magical readathon chapter two vlog I'm sorry the sun's in the way I'm trying to like be in the way of the sun because I was trying to show you the computer but the sun's in in the way. I will link the announcement video down below if that doesn't make sense and I'll also link the website to the Magical Readathon that explains it a lot more. Yeah so basically you need to complete chapter one to move to chapter two and only the first two chapters are out at the moment so I'm not too far behind but I'm only going to start on chapter one and I'm excited. I don't really know how much you're going to actually be able to see when I do this but I'll make sure I read it out to you. And it's really good too because any book that's counted as a book you can read which is really good so you can literally pick anything you want. This is really long and I need to read it to you guys. Okay. Ah, it's a quiet evening at Pivot Drive. The Dursleys have some guests to impress and you're told to remain silent and pretend that you don't exist. Honestly, works fine for you. You've been meaning to get some reading done for next year's Transfiguration. Professor McGonagall did not leave you without homework and you did sort of wait it until the end of summer to get to it. About 15 minutes into reading, you lower your book slightly and jump up. Clutching your hand to your chest, you notice two tennis ball sized eyes staring right at you from behind your book. A curious and very loud creature he introduces himself as Dobby not wanting to attract any more attention to your room you invite Dobby to sit down Dobby is startled by your kind demeanor and is causing quite a commotion what with his sobbing and stomping he's asking you not to go back to Hogwarts obviously you cannot do that who in their right mind skips out on Hogwarts especially when the alternative is this place but you need to get him to calm down or you'll be in deep trouble what do you do okay so our two options are falsely promise that you won't go back to Hogwarts so Dobby leaves or make no promises and continue Continue to try and talk him out of it. I feel like I'm going to make no promises because I'm going to go to Hogwarts anyway because that's my skill, bro. Yikes, Dobby is not having it. No matter how much you try to reason with him that you'd be safer at Hogwarts than you'd be here, it's just not an option for you. Dobby makes a run for it and jumps three steps at a time towards the kitchen in absolute panic and shock at the Dursley's imminent reaction to seeing such a peculiar creature as Dobby. You don't even notice the cake hovering over the guests' heads. You jump into view trying to stop this disaster from happening. In retrospect, you'll understand that Dobby was too short for them to see and it definitely looked like you're just doing all this by yourself. Matt is not. You know you'll be blamed for it. Either way, what a mess. Well, that's it. Seems like Dobby has gotten what he wanted. You're not feeling particularly fond of the elf at the moment. Maybe once you manage to get the bars off your window, maybe then. Wait, the bars seem to have moved. A car, a flying car of all things, is shimmered into view and a bright freckled face from inside of it. Actually, three of those. Ron and the twins have come to take you away. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't forget to grab Hedwig. We've only got one prompt that's grab Hedwig and fly away. That was the coolest way to get to the burrow, but the actual burrow is mind-blowing. Wonder how it feels to grow up here, surrounded by self-cleaning dishes, invisible knitters, magical cloaks, and so many other things that don't even make sense to you yet. You are all a bit tired after the trip. You really only have time to pick one activity. What do you do? Help Ron denome the garden as his punishment for stealing the car. Stay up chatting about muggle knit bites with Mr. Weasley. He's so charmed by it all. Or 
you're not done with flying. Grab a snack and meet the Weasleys in the field to play some Quidditch. I honestly feel like I would help Ron with his punishment because he's the one that got me out of there. So I feel like I need to like, you know, be nice to him. So your reading prompt. Let the denoming begin. Pick a read from your existing TBR that is longer than 500 pages. Fitting the not so red pile one book at a time. Ah! I gotta pick a 500 page book? Oh my god. I didn't expect it to be that hard so quickly. What have I got to pick? I've got so many books. I... I don't know and my back is so tired. <laughs> Um, okay, I've decided to pick Serpent and Dove because this one's 513 pages and I am excited for this book So hopefully I can read it really quickly. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I hope I can I also feel like these vlogs are gonna go so long because I didn't realize the prompts were gonna be so extensive But I want to read the backstory so you understand the answers that I'm picking but I've gotten to my first challenge I will stop doing prompts for now and start reading this book. Okay guys I'm here and I decided to dye my hair blue. This was very spur of the moment and I just did it tonight even though it's like 12 30 at night i decided to do this so i've got this like denim blue color down the bottom i don't know if you can really see it like can you see it like it's darker and it's a semi-permanent hair color but i just wanted to change it up a little bit like i know my regrowth is coming through but i decided to do this and i kept the red at the top so i did like an ombre even though it's not like red to blue is not ombre but once this washes out i will dye my hair red again and get the color back but oh my god this was such a bad idea though for the fact that that it stained everything everything my shower is blue my hands were blue my back was blue my whole body is just blue I tried to wash everything that I could that wouldn't be hidden by my work uniform so I'm just horrified with how much of me is blue like my nails are just so blue but I was so scared like I nearly cried because my hands were just like dark blue and I had to use laundry detergent to wipe it off and I was so Worried. But I have started reading this book. I've read 60 pages today, so it's still the 15th. So I think I've read a good chunk and I'm already liking it. Like at first I wasn't really sure what was going on, but Lou and Reed feel like they're going to be like great characters and I just can't wait to read more. Okay, it's the 16th today and I've got my hair out. Can you see? Like look how dark it looks. It's so weird that I have like blue hair now. I never thought I would be a person that has blue hair, but it happened. And I also put some makeup on because I bought some new makeup from Colourpop like I did get the Ulta and Anna collection from Hollipop and I realized like over here like I've got this stack of makeup so I need to start wearing it so I'm gonna wear it to work like I'm just gonna do eyeshadows and stuff but I'm excited still in the Christmas shirt but what we're here to talk about is the book so I'm up to page 124 and I'm really liking it they just got married and they hate each other and I can't wait this is like hate to love as romance at its finest because it's an arranged marriage I am so keen to keep reading I think this will be a quick read even though it's like five pages I think I will get through this pretty quickly okay it's still the 16th of December and I feel like I'm actually flying through this book and it's only been two days so I'm up to page 194 and I'm just really enjoying it I like the banter between Lou and Reed and oh my god the best thing is before I read this book I saw comparisons of Lou and Reed being like Nina and Matthias and they're not wrong like Reed is a total Matthias because everything that Lou does scandalizes him and I am living for it and I just want them to fall in love I can't wait for that point to happen but like he's got someone that he loves that he was going to marry but then it didn't happen and now he had to marry Lou so he's like all forlorn because he loves this other person but then Lou also had like a guy on the side but now like they're not really a thing anymore so like they both had prior engagements here but I'm like please just like learn to love each other and see the pure people they are and just like oh it's so good I'm so glad I decided to read this like now for this readathon because I knew I wanted to read this book but I'm just all oh, I'm feeling like this could be a favorite of 2019. Okay, it's the 17th today and I'm still reading my book, but I read a lot today. I've only got this much to go, so I'm up to page 346. So I've read heaps today. At least 150 pages today. This is just so easy to read. I am like obsessed. I really love these characters. I really love this story. Like seriously, the idea of a witch and a witch hunter falling in love is just so crazy that I love it so much. My only gripe with it at the moment is I feel like Lou and Ree just fell in love way too quickly. Like it's meant to be hate to love and like I get the reason why they hate each other at the start and obviously Ree doesn't know she's a witch at the moment so that's obviously going to cause a big conflict later on but I just feel that like they didn't have enough interactions of it growing like she scandalized him a lot but it's just like he's just grown used to it but they never had that moment of like maybe him saving her life or her saving his life and then like them seeing each other differently like she's a really compassionate person and not as big a bitch as she acts like but 
her like falling in love with Reed, I think that she's slowly seeing that he's not as uptight as all the other witch hunters. But I feel like we needed a bit more of that discovery here. Like obviously it needed to happen in the book. Like I mean it could have happened in the next book or maybe they started falling in love after he finds out that she's a witch or anything. But, but basically I'm um, over 300 pages in and it's kind of like they're just doing the whole oh we're in love like. I feel like it happened too soon. But I am honestly loving everything and I definitely feel like I need to film a book review because I'm really loving this book. And like I don't know if I'll get it read tomorrow because I'm actually going out all day tomorrow. So I may have some time in the afternoon too. So I'll probably read like another chapter or two tonight just to get a bit more of a head start because it's only got 513 pages. So if I read like another 20 pages and I'd only have like 140 or something. So I think I'm going quite well and just I'm really enjoying it. I came back for a second but like I'm getting really close and I read 181 pages today. Like that's a crazy amount. And to read like basically a third of a 500 page book in one day is so good for me. I thought this was going to be really hard because the challenge was to read a book over 500 pages. But in three days I've read 370 something pages so I'm doing really well. I Okay, so it's the 18th today and, I, and I've only vlogged now because I was out all day and I really wanted to finish this book but I just didn't get there. I'm close though, look how much I read in four days. I think I did so well and I'm up to page 443 so I definitely will get this done tomorrow. I didn't have enough time to finish this book today and I didn't even have enough time to edit so I didn't get anything done today. Like I wanted to get things done today but it just didn't happen so I'm gonna go to bed because I'm really tired but tomorrow I plan on getting this finished because I'll have a bit more time and I'll also try and get that video edited that I wanted to edit. But it's getting so good. I absolutely love this book. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Like, there's a couple of times when I'm like, yeah, why is this happening? But still, it's a great book. I highly recommend reading it. If you haven't picked it up yet, it's just been so good. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. I finished reading Serpent and Dove. So, it is the 19th today, and it took me five days to read this. This is a book that I was really excited for, but then I didn't read it for a little while, so I think the excitement went away. So, I'm so glad I picked to read it in this readathon. I really enjoyed it. But now I really want the sequel. I want to know what's going to happen next because all hell kind of broke loose and shit's about to go down and I am excited. We left off with denoming gnomes or something so now that was quite exhausting but you did it. I did read a 500 page book. Hopefully the lawn is a bit more healthier now and the gnomes even though they for sure will be back will take a bit of a break. It's gotten dark inside and Mrs. Weasley has shown you a cozy spot near the living room slash kitchen fireplace. Ginny poked her head in but quickly ran back upstairs after realizing you were sat right there. Her cat followed pouncing at the pom-poms on Ginny's slippers. Percy Ron and the twins were discussing the latest development in the Quidditch League while Mr. Weasley was reading what seemed to be tomorrow's issue of the Daily Prophet. This was the life, ultimate coziness. You can't help but smile while you look around, slipping your hot cocoa. Congratulations, you've completed chapter one. Enjoy your stay at the borough until chapter two becomes available. We will see you once chapter two opens. If it's already open, head back to the Winter Magical Readers on homepage. Can you do? Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I got away with one challenge this vlog, and I'm not going to lie, I feel like the actual vlogging of the reading isn't going to be as prominent in these vlogs because it takes so long to read the prompts out, and I want to read the whole prompt, yet it takes a long time to do that. But I think I did good. So this chapter only took me five days, so I started on the 15th, ended on the 19th. I think I did pretty well, and I'm excited to start chapter two. So I'm going to end this vlog and then start the next one to see what my read's going to be. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!